season. And there's my favorite site. Bird watchers, all here to see me. Oh, I love well, this. I'll Listen up, fellow bird, bird watchers. I'm so hush. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> On today's outing, we won't bother with any of our usual bird pictures. Instead, our favorite magazine is offering a $500 prize for the best photograph of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. Step lively, fellow birders. Oh, watch out. That's going to be my prize. Oh, oh, oh that woodpecker. Be careful, birders. The forest is fraught with peril. Mm-mm. I love being the center of attention. Take all the pictures you want of this good-looking woodpecker. Hey, what am I, molting here? This is the best photo op of the day. Ah, oh, playing hard to get, huh? Now remember, bird watchers, don't trip over anyone as you rush off to get your best shot of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. And remember, the $500 prize! Oh, oh that woodpecker is as good as mine! Well, what do you know? If there's 500 smackaroonies for a photo of a woodpecker, who knows woodpeckers better than another woodpecker? Namely me! <laughs> the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker is the court jester of the bird kingdom. It hops around with a wild cackle. <laughs> <gasps> Why, I'd know that bird call anywhere. It's the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. Now to find the picture perfect and posture pose. <laughs> oh, fiddle faddle, I missed. Spring footed, speckle headed woodpeckers build intricate homes designed after famous landmarks they have visited during migration. <laughs> 500 buckaroos, here I come. Oh, Specklehead! <laughs> Whoops and such. You're really starting to coil my springs, bub. Cheese and crackers, I've got the shot! Chips and dip, I say not. Oops, I missed. Now, get lost before I... Whoops and such. Whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> you are uh, looking for a good shot? Take this. I, Fessel Featherborn, always get my bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're getting right now is my goat, genius. So you can see, the mating rituals of the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker are varied, unpredictable, and have never been caught on film. Until now. Are you looking for the love of your life? It's time to play Crossbreed! Will you choose Bachelor number one? Bachelor number two? Or Bachelor number three? Wow. 
why this is amazing. An amazing fake. <laughs> I know a spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker when I see one. And you are no spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. You're nothing but a fake, and you are not getting the prize money. <laughs> Yuck! Uh, say, wait one picture flashing minute. So, you like to kiss me, do you? <laughs> Then have I got a deal for you. Step right up and get a genuine photo of the speckle-headed woodpecker. Only five dollars. Step right up. Step right up. Wrestling tonight. Ah, come on. <laughs> that wrestling stuff is so fake. Oh, then you could probably win the five thousand dollar prize they're giving away to anyone who could beat the champ tonight. Five thousand dollars? Tell him to make the check out to Woody Woodpecker, bub. I could beat the chump blindfolded, standing on one leg, with both hands behind my back. Then let the wrestling. The Grand Arena versus anyone! And here comes our first challenger now. Let's hear it for Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> and now, world champion, the Grand Bub, licorice ropes, huh? I won't even hit you. Just run into my fist. <laughs> oh, look, a hangnail. And there's the bell for the start of the first round. Woody Woodpecker voices the granulated. <laughs> Woody could be down for the count, ladies and gents. Wait, what's this? The granulator is making woodpecker pancakes. Ow! One, two, three, you! Let me back in. I got him right where I want him. Sorry, one shot per contender. Who's our next challenger? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so maybe wrestling's not all fake. But you know, just the right gimmick. I bet I can psych this guy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next contender, hailing from the moors of Scotland, let's give it up for the Scottish Scarecrow. Uh, I don't know any Scottish Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, you have embarrassed me and me tartan. Prepare to suffer the consequences. <laughs> it's time for me patented table toss takedown. He's got him on the left, on the right, on the left. What a wrestler! Didn't you see? The granular couldn't even get out of the way of me lumber and caber toss, no, could he? No! He's slow! Uh, One, two, three, you're out! Okay, okay, he's big, he's bad, but I bet... 
that I can still beat him with pure woodpecker speed. The next contender, welcome the Shah from afar. How did you do that? Russian ballet training. Allow me to demonstrate. And lift like so. Ah, who is champ now, my little comrade? Help, help, help. Oh, what a turn of events. The blinding speed of the Tsar has... Wait, don't count the granulator out just yet. this before. Oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen, it's the match to end all matches. It looks like the granulator versus... Mama? Now stand up straight, Sonny. Everybody's looking. This is totally unheard of. Will the granulator's mama put him down for the count? You sit right here where it's safe, Mama. Oh, my, are you sure it's safe, Sonny? I've heard about so many folding chair accidents lately. <laughs> Mama? <laughs> Mama, you're right. That chair could have taken you out. Oops. Uh, be a good boy and pick up my pocketbook, dear. <laughs> Mama, I gotta go wrestle. <sighs> Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, sunny boy, you listen to your mama. You need some rest. This is unheard of. The granulator's mom is making the champ take a nap. But mama... Uh-uh-uh. No buts. Down you go. Now close your eyes. rock a by wrestler down on the mat. Count the little sheep with me. One, two, three. And you're out. The granulator has gone down in defeat. Now I want you all to leave quietly so Sunny Boy doesn't wake up. <laughs> panorama unfolding before you is a typical public golf course. It is on these fairways one hopes to find mental and physical relaxation and occasionally a few extra golf balls. On weekends the courses are crowded to capacity. But Woody Woodpecker avoids the crowd by getting out before sunrise. Shorty. Okay, bird brain. How much? Oh, ten dollars a hole. Ten dollars?
rap music. Everybody else had the same idea. <sighs> One instant parking spot coming up. What 
a perfect day. Not a troublemaker to be. Ah! Hold it right there, rule breaking beach goer! Code 1175B strictly forbids the use of sharp objects on my beach. And this umbrella definitely qualifies as. Hmm. Huh. I must have gotten the point. <laughs> point! I love it. Nothing like a good yuck on the beach! Point! <laughs> No wonder no one uses this beach. Hey! What gives you, helmet-headed beach nut? Well, if it isn't the feather brain funster himself! I want my stuff back. You dig? According to my beach safety standards, your surfboard is too long. It's a hazard to swimmers. My longboard! Huh? A riptide could wash you straight out to sea in one of these. And my beach rules clearly state sunscreen must have UVA, UVB protection of 500 or more. But don't worry, I've got the ultimate sun protection just for you! Big surfing competition is about to begin! Oh, Cowabunga! That does it! I came to the beach to have fun! Ranger Meanie or no Ranger Meanie? I've got you now, Woodpecker! Uh oh, that surf sheriff's gonna come after me for sure! But she won't be on the lookout for a Hawaiian Woodpecker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> when I get my hands on that... <laughs> Yow! Hey, no hitchhikers. Hey, that's no Hawaiian surfer, dude! Snarf the competition for sure. Say, this is kind of. What, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Fun? Fun! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Ho oh, ho! <laughs> Let's hang some beef! What? Unanimous! The Woodpecker and the Ranger are today's winners! Ow! Mine! It's mine! It's mine! I've never won anything in my life! Okay, whatever you say. Say, hey, fellas, have you met Meanie, the greatest new surfer on the beach? Ow! Why? Well, I... Well, yes, I am. Hey, Minnie, show us that gnarly screaming banshee move. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> Who should I take first? Pick Mo here. Like, Eeny, Eeny, pick Mo. Eeny. Me, Miney. Oh, together that makes us Eeny, Meanie, Miney, and Mo. <laughs> 
Get it? <laughs> Never mind. Just walk with me and look good. <laughs> Tomorrow, I may even try one of those newfangled bathing suits when I surf. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, boys. Oh, I'm just a fun fanatic. Woo hoo! Mama likes! Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Tweedle, you are a very sick man. You have a serious case of thrombonosis. Now, I would suggest complete relaxation at some quiet, remote hideaway. Uh, because if you do not get away from these noisy horns, your entire nervous system will shatter. You will just blow up. My wife here will give you our recommended travel folders. Like a nice quiet room with Shh. When we pride ourselves with the quietness we maintain here, I will have the bellboy show you to your room. Ha <laughs> ha 
Fiddle, uh, remember your nerves. You blow up. People just won't listen to their doctor's advice. for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round-the-clock care. Hmm, suddenly I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest, big meals, and hours of TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nurse! Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm head nurse Meanie. Ah, uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, 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 uh. Your chart says you're to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good! Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Oh, this isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Diggity dog, bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle. Yeah. I, I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm gonna watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. Yum. Oops, your chart fell. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more bran left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, my! I'm so sick. Sicker than the guy with the TV. Oh. But you're covered in sweat. Oh, and chicken pox. <laughs> you're burning up. A hot water bottle? Aha! So you've been faking. <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woohoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! Hmm. 
Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh. Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Find Nurse Meanie, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm -hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly -itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Work pretty well. Yeah! Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back to you little malpractice poacher! Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. You young folk, always in a hurry. In my day, we respected our elders. Wow. <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 I made it. I'm out. Again, Woodpecker? I'll give you a free loader to me you'll never forget. Eh. <laughs> nice going, laughing boy. Oh, no, it can't be. Look what I found, ma'am. Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Tonight on the planet's stupidest people, meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? Astounding! Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. Fetch, little feller. <laughs> it's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Cause a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flicking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. 
You're a penguin. <laughs> huh? Mm -mm -mm. Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> It's a well-known fact that dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. <laughs> Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your jete are swaying. Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mine the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. You are one incorrigible little critter. Huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, oh, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow. Get the hard job. I cook for you. I clean for you. I, I clip your nose as a lot. 
That's because I am the boss around here, and you are the boss around me. Well, you're not the only one with big dreams and perspirations, you know. Whitey! Okay, okay. Look, I'll give you a shot, Tweaky. Now, this is the con that's finally gonna get us out of this ice box. We find some beginners and charge them big dough to teach them how to ski. Then we take them up to the top of the expert slope. Quick like an avalanche, you and me then jump back into the gondola for a clean getaway to warmer climates, leaving them stranded by our perfect snow job. All right, here come some suckers. I mean skiers now. Hello, hello. I am Buzz Buzzard, the famous ski instructor for the children at prices any woodpecker can afford. How much can you afford? Oh, me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I take lessons, please? Buzz Buzzard Ski School personally guarantees that skiing will become a second language to these kids. They'll learn to say words like slalom. And uh, when my snow pants ride up, they chafe things. Hmm, I don't know. We provide souvenir pictures, safety lessons, hop on a slope experience, and hands-on training. And... Okay, okay, you're twisting my arm. The kids will leave you alone all day so you can ski by yourself a lot. Oh, boy, it's a deal. Wait, the dough. And I mean, uh, wait, wait, the $500. I'll pay you after I see how well they ski. You were supposed to get the money up front. Now we gonna teach these little boys how to ski or we don't get paid. Relax, boss. How tough could it be? How tough could it be? We don't know how to ski! I'm telling you, boss, if we give them everything I promise and teach them to ski just a little bit, we'll make all our dough. Mr. Buzzard, what's this rope for? Smile, everybody. Souvenir picture. Please! <laughs> Souvenir pictures, check. <laughs> and be sure you never do that with your face. We won't, Mr. Tweaky. Good. Safety lesson? Check. Now, where is Tweaky and them little boys? <laughs> if those little boys get hoit, we'll never get our dough! <laughs> Top of the slope experience? Check. Mr. Buzzard, you're one gnarly pro. Hands-on instruction, check. Why did he call it cross-country skiing, Mr. Buzzard? Why don't you ask him? Oh, uh, cross-country? Uh, because he's cross and uh, we's in the country. Let's go, I'll catch you. Let's go. Awesome, I'm in front. <laughs> hey, I wonder which way we're supposed to go. Let's make a lookout. You know, boss, this is a lot easier than I first thought. That's because you're on my skis, Nitwit! All right, that does it, Tweaky. I'm taking charge of this here con again. And I say we quit. Just go back to the lodge where it's warm and safe and... Uh... Oh, Mr. Buzzard, where are you? And there are no little woodpeckers to drive us crazy. Oh, but we can't ski. Who's skiing? Last one down's a rotten egg. A rotten egg. A rotten egg. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a rotten egg. <laughs> All right. Sounds like they're that way. Boss, we're gonna smoke. 
push ourselves. Ah, quit complaining. We got rid of them little wooden heads, didn't we? Right on your tail, Mr. Buzzard. That's it. No more, Mr. Nice French. Ah! How was that? Uh-oh, I gotta save him. Hey, not it! Shake that! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> hey, there's two shears! Sure. Aw, oh, hey, thank you guys for teaching the kids. I saw them outmaneuver that avalanche. Yeah, that was cool. Can we sign up for more lessons? We want to ski with you guys all winter. They're the best. Yeah. Hey, can we play that game? We do it. No, no, no! Keep them away from me. Twinkie, you got some explaining to do.